Welcome, in front of me is an Honor X7B and today I'll show you how you can enable and set up your portable hotspot. Now to get started, you want to pull down your toggles by swiping down from the top right side of your screen, like so, and then in here, swipe down once more, make sure your airplane mode is not turned on, otherwise, as you can see, your hotspot will be inactive. Anyway, once you see this toggle, you can hold it the first time around. This will quickly take you to the settings where you can customize how it will function. Now, the most important thing in here will be the hotspot password, which is randomly generated, and I do recommend completely getting rid of it and setting up your own new password, which will need to have at least 8 characters in length, and that can be letters or numbers. And once that's set, you can toggle it on either from here, quickly, or later on, once, once you're... Well, have done this setup, you don't actually have to go back to the settings, so you can quickly do this from right here. You can toggle it on and off at will. And one more thing to keep in mind, when you enable your hotspot, it will consume a little bit more of your phone's battery, and obviously it will also be using your uh, data plan from your SIM provider. So if you don't have a big one, you might want to kind of, you know, keep that in mind. Um, and because hotspot is consuming a little bit more of your phone's battery, you also want to probably remember to turn it off once you're done using it. And in the settings there was, I believe, nothing to turn it off automatically. Oh no, there it is. So there is actually an option enabled by default, so mobile hotspot to turn off timer. It will disable itself after 5 minutes of inactivity. I do recommend keeping that on, though you might want to make it something like, for instance, 10 minutes instead of the 5. And one last option in here is the AP band. You have two options, 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. Um, if you don't know what these are, uh, then I would recommend keeping them at the 2.4. This is basically going to be the best option for you because it removes the hassle of trying to troubleshoot if, for instance, whatever device you're trying to connect with doesn't support it, the higher one. So this one is basically supported by every device that has any kind of Wi-Fi connectivity. So anyway, with that being said, hopefully you found this very helpful. And if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.